Jewel oh, and going to lemon, that, that, that should have been a, yeah, we a pleasant thinking, delight. We are thinking, you know, mango is there, but me rot here. Otherwise, <laughs> the real lemon boys would not touch them, we will scramble after them, you know. <laughs> and then a little bit of wrestling, and I was not good at it because it was coming from Banjo, so mm. Darren and Jan and everybody, what I, I thought of later. Right. And then, of course, football would be there, you know. Yeah, I heard somebody know, say that. that. Somebody said you were a good, very good soccer player. Yeah, it was Sana. Right. Sana. Sarasari, we grew up together in Lamin. We had this team called United Stars. Mm. It was a three-tire team. Mm -hmm. All the boys in the neighborhood, we had Team A. Mm -hmm. My elder brother was Kotoi. in that category. Mm -hmm. Then Manai was in Team B. Mm -hmm. And Sana was in Team C, but he was mm -hmm. so good, we were also taking him on board in the Team, team B, B. You know. Right. But then they um, danced them. Why should dance when he stays at Team C? <laughs> <laughs> team so we had this wonderful structure right. that really made life fun growing mm. up in Lamin. Yeah, that, that must have, that must have been pretty interesting. It was, it sure was. So so so, how was it like the the social life? Because you had the football and the dances, yeah. And I bet there were the girls in it as well. They are always there, you know. Yeah, they uh, have to be in the equation yeah, they are somehow. Always there, but uh, I don't think I was that much into them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know you wouldn't let on, you know, but you know, but they are always basically there. we just we just try, trying to know who the man is, the man behind the man, you Absolutely. know, like the man behind the. F the facade that people see, Absolutely. you know, uh, so... Well, yeah, um, <laughs> Sachin and Mango, you know, well. we also did some little stealing of uh, corn, maize, mm. you know, boha. Mm. And then Growing up in Gambia. The worst of it was, you know, go to a nar shop, mm -hmm. you know, a group of you, say, the Jaima Ataya, mm. and Ataya Binyata Lama said, gives it to you, mm. and mm -hmm. and that guy runs away with it. <laughs> Kids, so. don't try this. <laughs> don't. We live in different times now. You know, this was done. Yeah, this in was the right. 80s, this I guess, was, right? You know, right. Uh, mm -hmm. So you had to balance all the, all the interesting social activities mm -hmm. with education. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, how were you able to do that? Um, for some reason, I, I... Because I heard you were a very brilliant student. I did, I did a little <laughs> bit of research, you know what I'm saying? So they told me he was always there, on point. So how were you able to balance that? I was uh, predisposed to learning. I well. happened to be smart. I don't know how I got that. <laughs> and then, you know, I went to school, worked hard. Right. I think there was a little bit of luck also. I mm. mean, I'm not saying all my progress is based on Right, luck, right, right. But that, I mean, coming from a family where nobody had ever been to high school, wow. and I'm the last born of my parents, right. I went to Lamin school, but mm -hmm. grade four, we had this wonderful headmaster, John P. Bojang. Mm -hmm. He's now the head of the National Council for Civic Education. He just right. picks me up from grade four, takes me to grade six. Wow. I didn't do grade five, you know, and I was like, okay, in that school, if you fail, mm -hmm. normally they can kick you out. But wow. I start the common entrance, then this is not your grade six leaving exam, you know, common entrance is what more serious. I remember you those know, times. All of those things, you know, right. and, and I was, and I passed. Right. Went to high school mm -hmm. and then yala dimbale mama try we finish. Mm. And there and there was a big difference between high school and secondary school back then. Yeah, yeah. Cause so pass with younger them see secondary Absolutely. schools, so pass with younger them see high schools. You know, so you made it straight to a high school. I made it, and it's not very common then in my society. Mm. I mean, there, you know, it was mm. so bad. I'm got time over there. You choose high school, but mm. high school guide them, but right. that's it. Right. So most of my peers mm. in the community, they were going to secondary school, Brikama Junior Secondary, mm. then Alpha Khan. Mm. So there was this friend of mine who wanted to choose a school. He mm. wanted to choose a high school. Mm -hmm. And you know, and the grandma said, no, 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 you have to choose Brikama Secondary because mm. you know, mm. so it, you know, mm. it, it was this... Uh, became a sort of a norm. Absolutely. So mm. I went to high school and most of my friends were still going to secondary school and at times it was a distraction because mm. I needed to put up more work than of they course. did. And, uh, of course. But, you know, I tried to stay in school. So my wife here school, Del Watt, St. Peter's, and then so I studied to King play basketball, play mm. a little bit of football. You know, but sometimes the vigils my time is are you. I know. But then, at least you are in that school environment. Mm. And then, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. by the grace of God, you get there from five. That exam. So in '94, mm -hmm. that's when you finished O or A levels. I finished O levels in 1992. Right, and yes. A levels in '94. A levels in 1994. Yeah. So between '94 and '95, you weren't particularly doing anything. Yeah, I said I finished A levels. Right. I could not get a job. Right. There was no University of the Gambia. Mm -hmm. in the Gambia. Right. And I didn't want to go to some of these African universities, you mm -hmm. know. And of course, my parents. Mm -hmm. could not pay for me to go to the US. I'm at that mm -hmm. age, adolescent, you know, yeah. you kind of crazy, you know. 
I was dreaming of going to the US. Mm. I didn't know how. Mm. But in the meantime, I was reading newspapers. Observer was here, mm. old papers, mm. listening to BBC, mm. seeing God Madam playing football. Mm -hmm. And that was it until this new university. So, so how did you get admitted into the university? I was started? playing football, wearing Baba Gale one evening. <laughs> I played football like Smobby and a boy, Yogi from uh, Kanifing. Right. You know, Kekama, back there in the behind the beside the Abu Kone Tori South Africa mm. that play. Yeah. You know, he came in boy, I say university coming up, uh, you should enroll. He's like, ah, boy, university gum you have a little more than that one. <laughs> <laughs> At first you didn't put faith into No, I, I didn't. I didn't right. at first, you know. Right. But then, you know, all my friends came in and then I thought about it. Mm. There was no alternative. Right. You know, if you don't uh, have what you like, mm -hmm. you like what you have. What you have for real. <laughs> I just faced it. Right. And then went in to borrow your face. Mm. Face it, face the <laughs> and then you go on. Face it, yeah, right. So that was from 95? Yeah, 95. And then you spent like four years there? Yeah, four years. What, what was it like being a pioneer student, you know, knowing that you guys were the first batch of university students in the Gambia and, you know, there was like a lot of unknown or there were like a lot of unknown possibilities and, and, and challenges and stuff that you, you had to face and you didn't have any idea what it was going to be like? I tell you, it was tough. Mm -hmm. It was a very tough experience because uh, nothing like that had ever been tried in this country. Mm -hmm. And the kind of model we did, I'm not sure if it had ever been tried in any part of the world anyway, because right. this was an intensive program we had. Mm -hmm. We had these professors coming in with their books on their labs, doing intensive six-week credit courses, and mm -hmm. then, you know, people are skeptical. You mm -hmm. go out to town, you know, some... Some people will say, you know, this is a floating university. <laughs> I had one then top government official right. even told me that, you know, you know, this university is not a university, it's a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you know, can you imagine? And then uh -oh. uh, within ourselves, you know, boys. Like, yeah, I, I can understand. You know, yeah. the boys would say, boy, they're going to have certificate, see book production, like go print it. And, boy, and you know, it gets scary. But then right. uh, we had the determination mm -hmm. and we had the faith. Right. to go ahead and uh, and do it right and then along the way it was mm. tough then down Fanon mdi you know we mm. spend the night studying at mdi wow. in the morning you go take your bath and go back to to, to school to do your classes right. but amidst all of that we also had some fun cracking mm. jokes here and there you know mm. having picnics here and there when we had time you know and we had that uh, group support. You, you, you had like a lot of students in there back then? Like yeah, we started off with about 62. Mm. By the time I graduated in 99, I think we had gone above 200. Wow. You know, so it wasn't easy, but mm. we tried to make the best out of what was available then. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm looking back, looking back, like right now, I'm sure a lot of you, uh, the students in the university, they have 